We're riding from St. George to Jorgensen's in Richfield, Utah. I believe it's around 220 miles, if I remember right. He loves to ride so much that he jumps on his ATV and rides to Richfield from St. George just for the fun of it. And not just once, he's done it many, many times. He loves to ride. We're in Pine Valley right now. We'll stop in Newcastle and get gas. Then we'll ride over to Milford, and then we will head over to Kenosh. And we'll go up and over the top, down off into Richfield. Jeremy and I, we've done it every time. We've done it eight or nine times. Different people come, but we've never had anybody repeat it. You have to be pretty dedicated to do this ride. Definitely when it comes to riding and whatnot, there's nobody I'd rather have by my side. I mean, he's very knowledgeable on the trails and always a good time, and he's always in it for the long haul, which is what I love. I bought my Honda Rencon in 2007, brand new from Jorgensen's, and I currently have 37,000 miles on it. When you look at it, it looks like it's got a thousand miles. It's it's amazing. I don't know how he how he can ride it that much and keep it looking that that nice. But it is a Honda, so you know that helps. With Jorgensen's, you cannot beat their service. So their mechanics. I trust them. ATVs are my passion. I like my bikes to be in good hands and consider all of them really good friends. Everybody knows it's Russ's ATV. If you said Honda ATV, you'd think of Russ Stuckey's Rencon. That water we drove through, that was, that was, that was pretty neat. When you when you ride and your headlights go under water, then that, that's some good riding right there. You know, one thing that I always look forward to, I mean, after we come across the flat there by Milford and through the windmills and over into um, pulling to Kenosh, I love coming out of Kenosh and it starts to get all green and start to see some more side-by-sides and four-wheelers and people out doing their thing. But I just love when you hit into that part and kind of get the trees kind of closing in around you and whipping around. and back and forth, so that's the part I always look forward to. I was excited to get to Richfield, but at the same time, you know, sad that it's kind of over. It can be long and tiring and whatever else, but it's, there's just something about it, about being out there in the, the dirt with your buddies and act like it's an accomplishment. I mean, to have us all set out like we did, and you know, no, nobody got hurt, nobody, you know, no flat tires, no machines are broke down. Spending time on the trail, I think it does something to your soul. I think it makes everything, you know, slow down and seem seem better. When I come to Jorgensen's, I know I'm gonna get treated with the best price, best service. Relationships and friendships, that's what matters. It's, it's that that matters most in life.